of course not. And I had to tell him very nicely. I told my friend who speaks Mandika, tell this young man that I am his elder. And he is, I said, please do not speak to me like that anymore. Correct. You Correct. know, so he, oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. But the, the thing is this, because there may have been something else that you have further on that we'll probably get into. The relationship that some of the young boys have when viewing older women, if they're not careful and they're looking at the generational habits of the men in their families, they're already being groomed. Yes. For and the same thing. On top of that, you're right. I mean, from 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 small child, right? Yes. From small from. I mean, it's Gambian 101, one, Gambian love 101 as soon as you come out the womb. And I just feel like, okay, when I did my video, this was January of 2023, when I saw the child being mm -hmm. improperly touched, right? And I did the article. That was over 10 years before. See? Come on. Yeah. Like, we, we talked about this Saturday Night Live. Adele was on Saturday Night Live. One of the parodies was what? They, by the beach, they got the, the fake wig and the Rasta, right? And what do they say? Gambia, ex-tourism, blah, blah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. my mom on the map. And, that, and, and it's for them to have so much pride and to be on a map for that. Come on. I, I, I just, I'm not going to say that if I wasn't born there, then I wouldn't be doing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. I just feel like, like Dr. Maya Angelou said, when you know better, you do better. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if our brothers and sisters, not just in the, on, in the Gambia, on the continent, if they look at us, it's sad that we're in here in America, look, see us, we're human, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Right. And when we go back home to where we come from and we got to have the same damn conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You're black. You're a black American. How the hell are you going to tell me who I am? I don't identify as a color, my ninja. We're not crayons. So if, if you know, the fact that I have to argue with someone, you know, I'm like, you know what? Then you're Senegal. You're from Senegal mm -hmm. because Gambia, not a country. Gambia is mm -hmm. a little small speck in the middle. You're Senegalese. That's what <laughs> he was offended. You see, so it's just like, I don't understand why we have to go back, see us, see us, see. How do you not see us? What are they being taught that they think so much about, so that they think the way they think about us? We're not two bobs, but then we can't even take it personal, y'all. Because they treat their own people like this too when they go to the West. But you talked about TV? television, right? Television, what they see on television. Most yeah. of them have never even seen an American. Mm -hmm. I, I have people that I've met who's from the UK that I've met here. And I was the first American that they actually befriended and communicated with. So sometimes the um, information that they receive from TV is wrong. I tell them that not all Americans are rich. I tell them that not all Americans live this lifestyle that they show on some of the shows that they watch. And I remember I had befriended two young children when I was in Jamaica and they used to come and watch TV before school and they would watch, what was that? Some show with like the, the, the junior high school kids were outside at school and the schools were like, it was always sunny and Saved by the Bell, was it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I used to watch that. Uh -huh. Saved by the Bell. But I was like, you know, schools in New York, it's like a big, ugly building. And, and you're only out in the playground once. But like the school was almost like the schools here where there was like, it's, it's, it's up and it's open and there's an open field. But it was in California, so it was always nice and sunny. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's not real for everyone. It is a 
a small amount of people who actually live like that. So, and they don't understand America. Honey, right? we, we, we Americans and we barely understand America. And I, I'm talking about the geographic, the, the size, okay, of that, it, right? Yes. Because they, you know, if I say Naka Fufu, which means how is there, right? And I'm asking um, you, how's the Gambia? Naka Fufu, sorry, small plug. Hey, you all. Y'all better sign up. There ain't too many for spaces left, but uh, the Gambian Wolof lessons, May 13th. Make sure you sign up. The introduction is free. So you can't say, oh, I want to pay. It's free. Okay. Okay. Now let me get back to this. I had to plug that real quick. <laughs> but if you're asking Nakafufu, how is there? The Gambia is not but so big. You're talking about Combo mm -hmm. South, right? Combo North, Combo Region, right? You ain't asking how's Basse, how is this? Because don't nobody really know he went out that way, right? Now, when someone says, How how is there? Not got foo foo. Uh, uh, it's okay. How's America? Well, ninja, I don't know how America is. I could tell you how Arizona is, but I don't know how America is. They don't understand that we don't know. They'll ask you, do you know John? John in America? <laughs> I'm supposed to know, right? you, you see what I'm saying? Like, but then when I, when I bring it back to them, I'm like, just think about what you're saying. If I ask you, do you know Mola men? How many Mola men are in, in the Gambia? About 185,000, right? So it's like, I, I think this is why I know Bag said, um, she has said, uh, doesn't bother me because I know who I am. And we mm -hmm. all do. We know who we are. Unfortunately, our brothers and sisters there, they may know the tribe and things like that. But I'm thinking, in my opinion, I feel like they are forgetting who they are because mm -hmm. they're trying to be us. They're trying to be an American. So this is why I say I educate them because most of the time, what does the Bible say? My people fail for lack of knowledge. And, and and our brothers and sisters over there, like I say, they have the most confidence in the damn world. I love it. But you can literally be telling them, like you said, it's, this is like this in America. This is like that in America. They're like, mm -mm, I know. Don't tell me. Ain't never been out of Gambia, out of Senegal, off the continent, but will tell you what is like in your country. I had a Gambia that lives here in America tell me, oh, I know more about America than you. I said, okay, I got to go click. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. I'm not, I don't have time, right? I, it's just like, look, that's what you said. Yep, you're right. You sure do know more about me, but you don't know anything about online banking and you had to borrow money from me mm. because you were traveling and you only had a certain amount of money and you couldn't get home and you're starving during a fast, right? But you want to argue, I don't have time for that. So we do have to just, when we meet the representative, we have to give them a little interview, right? And, and analyze nice. them. And if we see any red flags, if you don't need to deal with them with business, then run. Block works in the Gambia, y'all. You can block them. They will never tell anyone that you block them because they will feel embarrassed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I, I block often. Um, also... There was something that the lady said when she was talking with her friends in the uh, broadcast. Why are you looking for that? Let me just read Bag's message. It said most of the time, okay. from what I, what from from what I seen being here for eight years, when you get a boyfriend or girlfriend here in the Gambia, you're just a live ATM. Rather, you want to admit it or not, it's no love. That's why I say, ain't no love, ain't no love in the heart of the city. I ain't but no love. Also, um, so there's a love of some people. This, this, so we already did that disclaimer, but first of all, how, how can I put this? There is a love. There's a love. It's a love of the person or the thing mm -hmm. that is attached to the person. Let me explain this to you because I don't know if you saw the other broadcast I sent you where there was a lady who, um, no, no, that was the other one. There was a brother who I remember he was here when he was doing his documentary. I think it, it, it went out. 
It may have traveled across um, WhatsApp a few months ago. And it, he, he, he focused on three women, I think it was. But um, this one says, don't bless anyone, period. <laughs> That's what Gabby is. Namaste. Oh, go ahead. Go um, ahead. The, the thing is, just to, you know, you bless people and then the blessing is returned because when you freely give, it freely comes back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will men give into your bosom. Amen. So I believe Amen. in blessing people. Not that I'm going to get a return, but the windfall comes anyway. But we do want to give wisely. Correct. That's all. We're just saying give wisely. wisely. Like um, unapologetic Nubian Empress says, I agree. I only give money to the schools for supplies. But even that, you got to give. Y'all notice when I give, when I do uh, giveaways, I'm giving to the children. Because okay. sometimes if you give to the schools, the children never see it. They're going to Sarah mm -hmm. to sell that. They're going to sell it. So you have to give to the children. If I give a child a book and a book bag and this, that, no child will come and take that. They will beat them down. You wow. <laughs> so you have to give to the person. Okay. You can't. It's it's really sad because we were, mm -hmm. we were, we were brought up. Oh, they over there, they doing this. They then you get there and they like you like, am I the man? I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm I'm walking the streets all the time, right? I'm out in the streets and I'm like, this is like America. You see a fight, mm -hmm. everybody come out the house. They they like, oh, here in the Gambia. I'm like, y'all think y'all got stuff on lock? This is how it is in America. This is just African people all around the world. This is what we do. We nosy as hell. Like, you see them. You, they argue it. They do the same thing. We just don't know what they say. I know, but the good thing is all they do for the most part is argue. That's it. I know yes. it's changing, but yes. for the most part, all they do is argue. Fight, yo. I be seeing some. I'm like, y'all letting them fight? You been saying yes. fight? I told y'all be in the hood. They be like, where, where you at? <laughs> I'm in the hood. I'm in the hood. <laughs> yo, some dude... It won't be okay. punch, punch, slap, right, 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 right. But it will be a hit. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, Gambia okay. getting gangster. Yeah, right. um, so let me ask another. Oh, okay. So let me ask the answer the question that I asked you. For yes. me, I, for me, you all, I'm going to continue to do the town talk because I want y'all to visit and y'all need to, we need to have this. I feel like. So many of us are doing different things. There's so many people that are traveling. They're living abroad. Uh, uh, COVID has opened up the door for African-American, single children, whatever families. We just out. We like, we just downsize, van life. We like, we don't care. We just living our best life. We, we're enjoying our lives, right? So I love that. And I'm always going to do these town hall uh, discussions. But for me, when I saw that the, Okay, I don't know how old the woman is. There's a discrepancy, but the woman that was unalive yes. by her fiance in Ghana. When I mm -hmm. saw that, I, I for me, I'm like, you know what? I'm just so tired of having the same conversation over and over. But I will continue to have this conversation as long as things like this keeps happening. No one should have to lose their life because they mm -hmm. have told someone no. Right. I mean, y'all, there are plenty... Of people now that are speaking. Yes, a lot of times we didn't really say anything because, like Bag said, um, other people have been here for forever, but our Americans have just now joined for the past few years, right? Yes. So we didn't we we don't want to come in kicking in the door acting like Art Kathy. We are not Art Kathy, right? When people say, oh, Art Kathy, we can speak up about things without being disrespectful. We're coming to different countries. We're, we're helping the infrastructure. We are helping the economy. We're coming with our money and our skills. We have a right to say something as well mm -hmm. without being disrespectful. Art Kathy was just a, a lost cause, right? But 
So many times. I want to can... say something in, in her defense, if you don't mind. Go ahead. V very gently. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here long enough and I've had to deal with the stress of a build, the, the stress of navigating on, the, on, on, you know, driving on the roads, finding products that are at a fair price for me, shopping without feeling like I have to barter for everything. Mm -hmm. If an individual is not grounded enough or lose it, because I'm my aunt on the mat, off the mat, you make it a whole other person. You know, you'd be like, oh my God. Who is she? <laughs> Ms. Ms. Did you really say that? We all got a, a low vibration right. star. Mm -hmm. No. So um, those stressors can cause you to say things that you probably would not want to say. I'm going, I'll leave it like that. I know for me, there can be stresses and I'd be like, oh, I, I probably should have kept that more closer to my heart or shared that with someone else. I agree. I agree no, because so, it's not so, easy. It's not easy. It's and not here easy. we are. I would, you know, I used to say we got off the plane and we stepped right in the shit. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because when they were saying, come, 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 is beautiful. Now, here's the thing I didn't come because somebody told me to come. I came because I was compelled to come spiritually. OK, like like Mama said, if they say jump off the bridge, are you jumping? So the, the answer to that is no. Mm -hmm. Most of us that came, we came because we come. We were compelled to come spiritually. There was Correct. an opportunity for us to be here. But in the being here, you now are seeing things, the whole picture, the truth, the untruth. And nothing but the truth. See? And we already did the disclaimer. Yeah, but keep talking. I just put stuff up there, it's you know. Okay. Just, yep. Just keep you can keep talking. So, we'll, we'll address it. And, and and we'll address it. So with that being said, there is information that has to come out from our perspective because we're new to the environment and this is i want to say one of the first times that there are african americans coming to the gambia not just to visit but to live in large quantities they're yeah, we living, to keep our they're that's not children, fair they're buying mm -hmm. homes and lands mm -hmm. they are building businesses mm -hmm. and so we have to be like well okay how does that affect me because if something happens to black acres of the gambia i'm affected by it if something happens to a Gambian, they are affected by it. I just don't understand that when it comes to us, no one understands effing humanity. Mm. When it comes to African, and I'm talking about two bobs, Mexicans, wh whatever. Every nationality, when it comes to us, they forget, oh, they're, they're, they forget about our human emotions. Okay. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, we, I'm just saying that, like you said, people, we come in there, we're living there. We have a right to say something. We have a right to speak about our experiences. We are different from continental Africans. Continental Africans may not want to be on social media or be recorded by us, but I mean, they're on social media nonstop, are they not? Yeah. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, da, da, da. it's just that don't put us on your channel. So. Right. My thing is, is like Momodu Cisse. See, well, that's not Cisse. Because uh, Cisse is C E. So I'm probably pronouncing his surname, uh, uh, Balama Momodu. But Momodu said, You're referencing a small segment of, the Gamb of Gambia. It is not fair to generalize a whole country. Now, Momodu, we did do a disclaimer, right? We're not talking about the whole country, but you're saying a small segment of the Gambia. The Gambia is not that big. 
And um, if you are looking at what's on Gambia, we are not lying there. Oh, yeah. Right? We are not lying. This is happening in your country. We, we can't change it. We're just saying this is happening. Every day it's a unalive, 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 unalive. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, we're not sitting here generalizing. We're speaking on our experiences. You know, they say, you talk about a small segment. I've been all over the Gambia, lived all over the Gambia in the Cumbo region, right? And you can't say it's a small segment because, I mean, I went from the deputy commissioner of prosecution down to a bumpster, and I have gotten bad things mm -hmm. have happened to me. So don't sit here and say we're generalizing anything. Is sex tourism not huge in your country, Momo mm -hmm. do? Can we not go to, I'm 44, can I not go down to the beach and just put my foot, my feet up and enjoy myself without being harassed by bumpsters all day long? Let's, let's stop. This is our problem in our mm. damn community. We don't, we always want to lie and shove stuff underneath the rug. How can we change? How can we better ourselves? How can we get the, like the Chinese and the other people? We will never do that as long as we continue to lie to ourselves and others. We're saying it with love, Momo do, but this is the damn yeah. truth. Y'all yeah. so quick to come on our channel and say something, but what do you say to your brothers and your sisters that's doing this to the damn tourists? Hmm? Because it's destroying your country, Dick. Is it destroying the country? I mean, it's destroying the name of the country. I, I yeah, so, so because the country. image, the, the image has already been. The, the the question is, what is the goal of the traveler that's coming here? Now, if you're coming here to meet young boys or you young girls, the then yes, that is that's what your goal is. But if you're coming here to raise families, you bring in your, your spouse with you, you're buying homes and properties, you're coming here single, you want to let your money stretch, you want to build. The idea of having lands in Africa for most of us is very exciting. First of all, congratulations to you. You bought land in America. That is exciting. Okay. Somebody oh, said I didn't do it yet. Oh, you oh, but, about but, in the oh, process. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yes. But, but, but the thing is, someone said, you know, if you want to buy land, you can buy land in America. As an American, I, I may not want to buy land in America. I'm from New York. I'm not going to buy land in the Deep South because then I have to now move to the Deep South. And, and we're not I built like that. I'd rather be here in the Gambia than in the Deep South. I'm meeting people from Alabama that have moved here. I'm living, meeting people from the Midwest that have moved here. I'm meeting people from New York City that have moved here. Let me give you a small history of New York City. Do you remember Amadou Diallo? Yes. How many times did they shoot that brother? I don't know. And then they saw him. I'm going to do. I wonder, was he from Senegal? Yes. Okay. The difference is when they shoot a black man in America, they don't really pull out. Initially, he ain't African. He ain't Caribbean. He's just a black man. Yeah, that's so, what people don't realize, that's right? right? They that's don't care right. what their nationality are. They look at you later later when they, that's right. When they describe the person or their family comes forward, then it's like, oh, that's that was an African. But in America, it's different. So for a black person who has what we talked about, a love for Africa, who has a Pan-African view, um, whose parents may have taught them about Africa or you learned it in college, you enjoy traveling, you want to see more people of color, you want to know about Mali, Kemet, Egypt, all of that, you're coming to the continent. 
Maybe you watch Kunta Kente on TV. You saw Roots. You read the book, Alex Haley. you like, hey, listen, I now have this opportunity to not only go there, I can live there. Correct. I can let my money stretch. I, I can live my life a little differently. Well, you can't let your money stretch. You, girl, we, 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 we stretch in here because the economy is hard everywhere, but it's right. still in relation a little bit better. But with that being said, we come with our own trauma along with our expectations when we get here. Now, I wish that Black Jewel, Priest Black Jewel, was able to come on um, on my channel, my aunt on the mat. I interviewed her, and she talked about no drugs, no D-I-C-K, and no donuts. And she so, talks so about, talk about what that is. It's about how hip-hop and the hip-hop era and the crack era. And when she talks about donuts, I'm thinking, man, I didn't go into really detail with her, but McDonald's and these other fast food restaurants, these were um, organizations that created food for us, infiltrated the neighborhoods, got us hooked on the diet that we now have. And it has affected our, our health, Mm -hmm. our, our mental mental well-being mm -hmm. all of these other things for you to to eat healthily it costs more money but the idea to come to africa and buy your own land and grow your own food yeah that's like a win-win situation okay it's gonna save you a whole bunch of money and and it's gonna be your food and your medicine that's right. So we come here with that view and then we see a nice young man and he like what did she say he carried my bag. He was he made me feel good. I felt you know. That's the beginning boy and he had yeah. a nice smile. It's the he smile. had a nice smile. Oh, yes. Right? Hmm. And unfortunately, I didn't show this. I don't know if you all went to go see the rest of the video. I didn't even get a chance to see the end. But unfortunately, I think they had like three sets of people. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, all of these women, they paid for to get the person over there. Um, one of the people, I think the drummer, she came home and she saw some paperwork. And he said he didn't write it, but someone had wrote something and telling him, if you're in the country, the UK for two to three years, then you don't have to be married. You can go ahead and apply, blah, blah. And, and they were just using them. So my thing is, is we can't control someone else's actions. Mm -hmm. We can only control our own. This is why, you know, we are, we continue to do videos like this because you all need to know, don't let these little young boys finesse you. What did Bag say? There is no love. Still, there is no love from the relationship. Maybe coming from the live ATM. So they will love you when you go into the ATM. You come back. You give it. <laughs> Let's not really. We had a conversation, Miss L. My thing is, is we may look good for our age, but we still know our age. Yeah. And to really sit here and think I had a 55 year old woman tell me this 35 year old man, she loved him and he loved her and she never met him. Never been to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, so I, for me, I'm like, okay, we have to practice some type of comedy. healing. We, I mean, that's what we it need is. Healing. We need, and, and where do we begin? Because so many people come here. Okay, so now, like you're saying, if they come in and they just want to have fun, right? They just want to enjoy. Yeah, mm -hmm. you enjoy. Enjoy means having some fun in the, in, in the other room, y'all, okay? So if you hear someone say enjoy, that's what that means, relations. So if they, if the people are coming here, the middle-aged women are coming here to enjoy, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, why do you really think that he this 24 year old love a 60 70 year old woman 
Are we they really think thinking that? that? I mean, because I don't think did say she care. believed it. Mm, yeah, but there were red flags. Her intuition was telling her something differently and she refused to listen, number one. Let me tell you what I want to do. Because I want to try to move away from what those women were doing because these were they were women on vacation. We're talking about women that live here. Correct. Correct. And maybe they were able to develop a relationship with this individual over time. Maybe he was my gardener. Maybe he was my taxi driver. Maybe he was the 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 the, the contractor on the my bill. <laughs> yeah, that right. And that too. Okay. You find mm -hmm. yourself in proximity with the individual for um, long periods of time. You start chatting a lot. He gets to know your mannerism. You talk about things. He agrees with you. Because um, you said that Gambians want to be Americans. Well, when I first got here, I thought Gambians wanted to be Jamaicans. OK? Yes, they definitely have that Jamaican vibe, right? Yes, but what they're doing is they're, they're they are changing. You, I'll be whatever you want me to be. Whatever you are, that's what I'll be. Oh, you know, so, it's so funny, yeah. Because when you were talking, I'm like, they analyzing you. When you were like, yes. oh, you get to the one, you chatty, you'll ask them a question. They're analyzing you. I heard there's a book. I heard there is like a church, a school where you go to talk about it's 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 like it's what is they call that that these are urban legends. Oh yes 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 yes. I heard if you do this, then the other, because that one did this, that, and the other, then you can get. But you can judge that off for of African Americans. You could judge that off for of everybody else that's been coming there. This is why they're seeing something different when it comes to us. Right. But then there are the few who make it in their relationship. Regardless of the age, there is a synergy, there's an understanding, they're making it work. And so Correct. for that, we say bravo. But Correct. what we want to do But is, it's not the norm. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jay, Jay. Okay. Right? I mean, because we feel more bad they, 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 they had cougars on you in the States. That, that was what they called them. You know, so I, like you said, we're not here to judge now. Correct. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story. Mm -hmm. When I first got here, I met a very young man on the beach and we started jogging together. When I went horseback riding with my horseman, he would be on videotape and blah, blah, blah. And my son said to me, oh, I think, oh, did you meet a nice guy? And I was like, that boy is younger than you. Let me explain something to you. This is going to go a little deep. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to look, I'm just talking because I have been analyzing this for the past couple of years. Most of the single women that I have met have had children very early. They may have gotten married very early and then they found themselves alone and having the burden of raising the children on their own while working and paying rent and keep them, keeping them away from the three Ds if you're male or female mm -hmm. um, and yourself away from the three Ds as well. And then everyone finally grows older, finishes college, has your own children, gets on with their life. And now you're 50, you're 60, and you're going, now I have time to spend on me. What do I want to do? So you're not looking at it from the 
view of a mother or a grandmother mm-hmm. or a co mm-hmm. or a legal secretary. Mama try to have her life now too. Yes. 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 Then you come here not knowing or not, you may have known, but you're not looking, but it just kind of happened organically. So for that, I'm going to leave that right there. What we want to do. 